Hi, my name is Matthew Brunel, founder of Gemcar. And in this demo, I will be demoing the most comprehensive repair shop management software. First of all, when you connect, it's a web-based platform. So on any device, a phone, a Mac, an Android, a tablet. It's also multi-language, so you can connect in French, English, and Spanish. As you connect, you depending on your security level, you will have access to widget. The first one includes the sales and the purchase that will actually leave you with either profit or a loss. On the right side, you will have financial indicator regarding the inventory, the average ticket, number of sold hour per ticket. Uh, if you go down, performance for technician, you also have a whole bunch of financial indicator. Going down a little bit more, you have the ability to upload uh, suppliers or all kinds of invoices. Whatever is going to be related to the inventory, I will show you in a moment. But else you just snap a picture and the accountant can actually process them. You also manage the accounting aging and payables. So let's start with the aging. First of all, it's quite small. Why? Because every time we close a ticket, we would send an email with a link for people to pay directly on their phone. Otherwise, at the end of the month, you can send a full statement. And on the right side, you can do it one by one. Regarding payables, also quite simple. What we do is we generate a file and you can actually upload that file to your bank. That way you save on the transaction. So one file is one transaction. You can actually include 30 supplier, no stress, and you only get paid or get charged 30 cents for the whole transaction. Um, basically on the left side, you have a full accounting software. So you can actually manage the period, do the conciliation, uh, you can also go to the HR module so you can actually upload your resume, a warnings for employees and every document related to them. Uh, so let's do a little tour now. It's time to go to the point of sale and I will show you how easy you can actually do an estimate and move that all the way up to the quote, uh, to the, the, the invoice, sorry. So let's click on point of sale. Uh, what we'll have on this screen is on top, we select the customer, then a the vehicle on the bottom. You will have hotkeys and in the middle, you will actually generate the labors and uh, parts that are into the quote. So let's do it. First of all, a couple of letters from a phone number, uh, a name, a license, whatever you want. One customer can actually have multiple vehicle. So I will select, let's say in this case, the uh, uh, this vehicle. Uh, if there is any quote, would you like to see them before you start? I'm going to say no because I want to show you how easy it is to create a quote. If you know the code by heart, all you do is you type it in and we'll actually pull out the, the code itself, the product. In this case, Gemcar has a great memory. So I went to the history, grab the filter that we used last time, the type of oil and the quantity. And under bracket, it's actually showing you how much you have in stock. Then you cannot memorize all the code. So you can go into the job list on the bottom left, pull out the list, and I'm going to click on a couple of these jobs and I'm going to just click add on the bottom left to introduce those to the quote. Once the job are actually in place, you can add, actually add parts. Creating parts is so easy. You just go into the system, punch in the part number, tell Gemcar what it is. So in this case, it's going to be a bolt. And I'm going to put 25 cents as a cost. And what I love here, there's a price matrix that kicks in. If the cost is low, the price will be higher. So in this case, it's going to triple the price and add a few cents for the additional margin so you can actually collect money to pay for your gem car internet repair guide and things like that so i'm going to press enter triple the price so 75 cents and it's going to add 10 cents for the additional margin but obviously you're not going to enter all the parts like that manually uh, now it's time to go online so where you have f7 on the bottom left you can actually connect to up to 300 and something vendors otherwise all right, so clicking here, you configure all your uh, vendors. Uh, otherwise, you can actually connect to Napa. Whoever is your main supplier should be the main link there. So we push the username, the password. It connects to the platform. And what I like here, there's a VIN decoder, uh, but I'm going to use uh, this VIN already. So I'm going to preload all the component for the, the pads. So let's say I need, um, let's say, I don't know, I need three of those. I'm going to add to the cart and I'm going to need uh, seven of those. I'm going to add them to the cart. So now all the parts I have on the left side will actually be moved to Gemcar simply by clicking on the top right icon 
send to Gemcard. If I had clicked on preview, I would have had the ability to select additional price matrix. So one click is as is, the other click is using the price matrix. You can actually move the parts up and down. You can actually minimize one section if you want. Uh, so at this point, I need to get the approval. So I did a quote uh, and actually I'm going to create a quote by clicking on estimate on the bottom right. Now I have the ability to create this on a coupon or on a regular 8 by 11. So let's do the 8 by 11. Now that we have the, um, the file, we can actually text this to the customer. We can email this to the customer or we can ask for a signature either on an email or on the screen. So I'm going to use it on the screen. Uh, look how easy it is. But same thing apply by email. And also you can also get an approval by text. So once the whole line has been approved here, there's a little message saying, hey, that the quote was actually approved. We're good to go. Now it's time to book the appointment. So I can actually click on the bottom left on the calendar and just select the right time. So I'm going to go with John. It seems to be free at 10, 15. I'm going to take the appointment. So all of the other appointments will actually show up on that day. If you click on the calendar, it will actually load the estimate. Once we are into the estimate, we can select the item that we wish to order. And just by right clicking, we can push this directly to Napa. Uh, as we push it, the estimate number will become the purchase order number. So when you receive the parts, you will be able to select the item like I just did. Click on purchase, uh, tell the system that the parts are actually coming from Napa. So I'm going to go yes. I'm just going to select not N for Napa. Uh, on the bottom right, and the, the total amount should match what I have in my hands. If it does, and it should, uh, you can click process, input the invoice number from the supplier, and up the all the parts are actually now in stock. And what you can actually see here, the parts are actually in stock, uh, three and seven, and also the, the bill was actually moved to the payable in the back through the accounting package. Now that we have the parts, uh, we have an appointment, the customer shows up, we can actually print the work order. So on the bottom right, all you have to do is click on the work order. It will actually produce a piece of paper. And eventually, you can actually move on to the digital uh, punch clock and also use our digital inspection. So if you click on the paper work order, you will have the job on all the parts. You can obviously have the customer to sign off on this. Uh, same principle would apply. So you would just click on the signature pen next to the work order, and you can just go sign now. And yes, the customer will be uh, asked to sign off again on the work order. Uh, no need to print the work order, or you can actually print this for the technician. Okay, so what I love here is the whole process only take, took a few, a few minutes, and the last portion of it is the payment. So on the bottom right, there's an option for payment, and you can actually ask for let's say $200 uh, cash, you can go $500 uh, MX and the balance on a MasterCard. And below you even have the option to email the customer uh, with a full amount to pay on his credit card by phone. But now I just tender the whole thing so I can just process that. Boom, it's done. When it becomes like five o'clock and, and again, you can print the coupon on a small receipt or in a large receipt. Uh, most shop obviously use the eight of I-11. Um, what I love here is when it's time to go home, close the shop, we have a little report that we call the checkout or the end of the day procedure. As you click on it, it will actually show you all the list of all the invoice you would like to include in your end of the day. And then it will have a little report that will actually, that you can actually show by category. So on top, we have the category in the middle, we have the, uh, how is actually tender. If everything goes well, you can just click on checkout and you're done. Basically, this is my simple demo process going from an estimate to the invoice. If you'd like to join me for a more advanced session, including digital inspection and punch clock, stay on. In the meantime, I ask you if you want to go and uh, get your free trial, just click on the link below, get to your demo. Uh, please also look forward uh, for Gem Academy. Those are free online training session, uh, easy way to learn the Gem car. Anyway, have fun, save time, and make a lot of money using this. Be passionate about what you do. 
Once again, my name is Matthew Brunel, founder of Gemcar, and I wish you all the best with your shop. Thank you for watching.